Welcome back, you gorgeous and beautiful people from the internet. My name is Manzi Crypto. Today, I'm going to withdraw a little bit more from my Mobox wallet over here. Uh, because I would like to stake at least 100 uh, Mobox, uh, which will be divided into two, so it will be 50. Uh, so we need roughly about 40 Mobox, so we're going to just do that right now. I'm going to go on, uh, click on this. I'm going to say transfer and uh, uh, paste my wallet right there. And I want, I don't know, I'm going to say 51. I'm going to withdraw 51 right here. Uh, so that we still have some Mobox inside our wallet. And then, yeah. If you guys wonder where did I find these funds, uh, it, is, um, it is because I sold my tickets or my keys, sorry, uh, inside uh, Mo, Mo, uh, Moland Defense. Uh, that's where I got it from. Okay, so transfer success. All I got to do right now is just wait for this number to change uh, inside my actual wallet. Could take a minute though. Um, right now, I'm just going to claim our, our Mobox also uh, because I want to use that uh, also inside the staking. Uh, I want to stake as much as possible. Um, there is something I could actually cover for you guys. If I click on my interest list or my, my intre interest list over here, you can see my ROI right now. Like if you guys are wondering how close am I to ROI, I, I'm literally 1.22%. So we are very, very far away from $60,000. Uh, that is how much I invested uh, a little bit more than a year ago now. Uh, so I think two, two years ago, April. So 2021, 20, uh, April, not, not April, October-ish, sorry is when I actually started to invest. And that's when roughly Mobox was about $7-ish. Um, when it dropped to 5 I think I all in. So yeah, I'm very, very far away from ROI. Extremely far away. Uh, but the end goal is to get my $60,000 staked. And then anything beyond that, I will be liquidating as profit, if that makes any sense. So hopefully we can get there uh, within this year. I mean, it's possible with the price doing this, going ballistic over here uh there, it, it, anything is possible in this year or so uh, i received my mobox you can see over here all i got to do right now is go to pancake swap so i just log into my wallet in pancake swap over here we're gonna put bnb at the bottom and change the top one to mobox and uh we're gonna click on 50 percent right here now i always like to do one more uh, sell one more is because some, you know, a little bit uh, gas fees coverage pretty much um, when it, what it comes down to. Uh, so I'm going to just swap like this. We're going to swap 59 over. So click on swap, confirm swap, and then I have to just confirm on the wallet. And it costs me 22 cents to do that. It feels like all that I'm doing on this channel right now is just showing guys how I collect my weekly loot upgrade my momos and staking that is literally the only three things we're doing and to be honest guys that is the only three things you need to do in order to be getting profit or getting roi so i'm i'm maximizing um that at the moment if that makes any sense we're going to add liquidity over here click on max when it comes to mobox you don't click on max here because it will say that you have insufficient mobox. So you click on max on the mobox side, add liquidity, confirm, and then on the wallet, just uh, click on agree again, and then that should be done. So that if you click on liquidity now, you should be able to see liquidity, uh, but you want to stake it also, because if you don't stake it, you only get like 1% a year, which is ridiculous. Uh, so click on 100% stake, and then you'll be able to participate, like I showed you guys before, into the airdrop side of Mobox, uh, which is the rewards that you get right here on the right side. You also get the 1% that I mentioned. Uh, it shows as cake right here, uh, but it's not cake. You don't receive cake for this. Uh, it actually goes back into this pool. So this pool also increases by 1% a year, which is it's pretty good. It's, it's not bad at all, especially if the price of Mobox and BNB goes up, uh, then you're winning all the way. That's, that's the end goal. So you can see now it's 883 
Uh, so if I go back to my interest list over here and I click on this and I say it is 883, you'll see the ROI percentage go up. It's 1.22 right now, uh, but right now it's 1.31. So it goes up by a very, very small fraction of, a, of an amount uh, when I stake more. It's because the amount that I'm staking is like very low. But if the Mobox price goes back to, let's say, $7, you'll see the ROI is already 20%. And that is what it should be. <laughs> but it will get there over time. Mobox is one of the, how can I say this? One of the projects that actually worked for a very long time. Um, while crypto went down, they were one of the hardest workers. Um, so it should be one of the, projects that recovers the fastest out of all the projects so just want to give you guys a little bit of clarity over here if i click on watch list uh, all the projects that i'm following is on my watch list right here so just clicking on it again you'll see that this is all the projects that i'm following right all the projects that i'm following right here and you can see that some of them went up double digits which is pretty good uh, Bitcoin by five, uh, five or four and a half percent, Ethereum by ten percent, which is great. BNB by twelve, uh, almost thirteen percent. Uh, Dogecoin by ten percent, Polygon or Matic uh, by ten percent, Shiba Inu by thirteen and a half percent. Then you have Axie by fifteen percent. Uh, Pancake Swap only seven. That is, I don't know why that is though. Normally if BNB goes up. Uh, Pancake swap goes up by roughly the same amount, but it went up by half the amount. I have a feeling I know why. Uh, it's because the people that staked inside Pancake Swap, uh, their funds was locked for a full year, and it's round about now where the full year comes to an end. So um, I think that is why take then went up so much to be honest and then obviously hex went up by 20 percent and i also have hex you can see it up here i i bought in a hundred dollars like i don't know uh the end of 2020 uh I, I split up my funds into two groups um yeah and big story uh i lost some of the funds uh because i tried to early unstake so <laughs> At least I still have some, and I'm still in a profit. So, and then you have Mobox in seventeen and a half percent. That is a big, big number right there. Seventeen and a half percent. So, very, very surprised that Mobox went up more than BNB and than Cake almost put together. That is a shocking amount. Uh, just to put it in perspective, that Mobox actually went up in the last week more than Axie Infinity did. Okay, that is insane. <laughs> very, very happy about that. And I hope you guys also can see a little bit of a light in, at the end of the tunnel uh, where, you know, Mobox is one of the hardest working companies, in my opinion. Um... I think once their DAO releases and it actually is fully functional, I think this could be an amazing project. So uh, I, all I could say is just hold on. It, all, it is going to get better over time. And people like in my comment section kept saying like, Mobox is dead. You should have withdrawn a long time ago and blah, blah, blah. But the thing is, guys, if you held in 2020, uh, sorry, 2022, which is most probably the worst year ever for, for crypto, for Bitcoin, uh, altogether. Um, if you held that long, there is no reason to give up now. This is the time to be either holding or staking or uh, getting in at the low, low prices while it's still low. Because in the next year or so, we're going to get people again complaining that Mobox is back to like $4 or something that the games is too expensive and that is the thing you don't want you don't want to be too late into any project so just keep that in mind if you if you held all the way through 2021 that is it is right now where you just gotta be patient even longer 
and be hodling, staking, and participating pretty much. Hopefully you guys that enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and I'll catch you beautiful people in the very next episode. Love you guys, take care, and as always, remember to twist some nips. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>